All right, so we got a drummer out there. He's rocking away, and we're going to start getting some drum sounds here right now. So we're going to start with the kick. Let's see. Let's try to play that groove, but yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, so just play play time, it's easier. That's always the best way, just to have them play the song. So we can go a little bit more on kick two. Try the snare drum. I got the uh, big fat snare on right now, but we don't have to commit to that, but I just put it on, you know the. Let, let's hear it more open first, because my first impression right away is it was just sounding a little, like a little bit deep. Right, never be shy with the EQ. That's what it's here for. Snare bottom too loud, okay. Check our bus limiter, make sure it Gotta make sure you're doing right, right. Overhead's real important. That's the whole picture of the record. Give me a tom check. Let's just let's just do the toms first. Be pan hard, right? Hard right on that one. Be the next one. Center for that one. So working our way through and letting it hit some single hits, making sure our basic levels are right. And give me the big floor. You try to keep your EQ changes consistent from tom to tom.
Uh, go around on that for me. Sexy, sexy beast. All right, so just give me back to time again. Check out the room track. Now let's see what this thing does. Now that's a room sound. Follow the monitor room for me. All right, unsolo it. Exciting right off the bat. Wow, you're a fucking animal, dude. You are an animal. How is it? That is really good. The secret here is like, look, if you keep the miking simple and you have a good drummer, it's really easy, okay? It's all about how you blend it. The, the important thing about cutting drums is the direct mics, the kick and snare, that's where you're gonna put some heat in EQing. The room tracks and the overheads, they're so good, you're not gonna EQ those. So it's easy left for later. And on the room track, you know what? I got a Fairchild and it kicks ass, so why not use it? So this is no reverb, just a little bus compression. So I'm gonna go out and make one adjustment on a microphone out there. All I'm gonna go out there and change is I think my hi-hat mic is just a little too proximity effect on this hi-hat. You can actually do that for me. All I want you to do is just pull the hi-hat back a foot, the hi-hat mic back a foot. So that's all we need, because when I listen to the hi-hat, I really hear it freaking the low end, like just really killing, so.